Hello and welcome to another episode of Eat the Week. I am your host, Harry Foodie Guy, and today we're doing something different. So um, I just had something through the post, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I'm just going to open that and show you because I couldn't find it in the supermarkets anywhere. So I ended up using Amazon Prime, which is crazy because I ordered this last night at quarter to midnight and it's turned up today. So there you go. This is uh, this is something I'm very happy to be receiving. So I think it was only about three pounds something, but this is Stubbs Hickory Liquid Smoke. Now I'm really looking forward to using this. Well, the main reason uh, I, I got that is so that um, I could carry on experimenting with uh, making vegetables taste meatier <laughs> like you know so so cook, cooking vegetarian stuff so uh, i've got a cauliflower in the in the fridge and i'm gonna you know make something amazing with this uh hickory liquid smoke so i'm really chuffed with that so that's that anyway but um i'm actually here to talk about food waste because i read on the news that um one of the employees from warren's bakery got um got fired um, recently for videoing um, the amount of food waste that uh, Warren's Bakery had. So um, uh, although I agree with her in principle, um, exposing the, the fact that a big company are, are doing so much food waste, um, she maybe could have gone about it in a different way. She could have maybe written to her head office and started for her managers to complain about it and stuff like that. And, and uh, rather than just exposing it to the world on a video and risking getting sacked. But I don't know, that's that's kind of controversial. So uh, maybe she had done that and got frustrated and, and, and did that. So I don't agree with her getting sacked either. But um, the whole point of uh, the, the, the food waste thing is it, it, it brought something up with me because um, I really can't stand food waste either. Um, so when I was much younger, um i used to work for mark suspensers and all of their food waste on us on a friday all of their their stuff that was uh you know almost out of date would be the uh staff would be able to buy at half price uh and the, and the food is pretty good in MS. and then the rest of it would go to um uh, a woman's a woman's shelter so all this you know this woman's shelter must have had the best kitchen ever <laughs> like um because the food was just uh, epic, but they so they didn't throw anything away. They gave it away, and that's that's. Um, I totally agree with that. I don't like companies that throw food away. So there's an app called Too Good to Go. So it's one word. Um, it's worldwide now. Um, I haven't just used it in the UK. I've used it while I'm away, and what it does is big companies and small companies like. Thousands of companies have signed up for this app to combat food waste. And what they do is they, they make up these bags uh, and you buy a, a mystery box, which is quite funny because uh, you never know what you're going to get. And I tried to get Warren's Bakery to, um, you know, make an example because of this news article. But I've ordered that for tomorrow. But instead I've got Starbucks. So they guarantee you get at least £12 worth of food. And this heavy bag um, was £4. So the Warren's Bakery one um, yesterday, sorry, for tomorrow, it was £4 as well. But I, I'm waffling on. I just wanted to show you what you get and say it's a really easy app to sign up with. And it, it uses your location and checks how close things are. I mean, even Toby Carvery do it. You know, um, Toby Carberry did a, a Too Good To Go for £3.29 and that made the news because the woman that bought it fed a family of six or seven with the sheer volume of food that she got. So uh, so let's let's get into this. This is Starbucks. So um, with, with Starbucks previously, I realised that they did really good quality vegan food, which I was a bit uh, stunned by. So... Right, so the first thing out of the bag is, uh, oh, I think that's uh, 
chocolate chip cookie. Oh, I think it's more than chocolate chip cookie. Smell that. So there's not there's nothing that says on here what it, what it is. Oh, it's a caramel and date cookie. Mm -hmm. Oh my days. Okay, so I don't normally buy cakes and stuff like that. So that's the first thing out of the bag, and I'm 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 impressed by that. That smells divine. So the second thing out of the bag looks like they put the the cakes on top. Okay, so this is this is fruit toast. You you'll like this. So it's, it's fruit bread, looks like it's got like big sultanas and things like that in it. That, look, that looks pretty good. That looks really good actually. So as cakes go, um, I would much rather have fruit bread and that cookie than something really gooey, like a big slice of, you know, I, I can leave them out actually. Like a big slice of like cake covered in icing and stuff like that. These look much healthier. So there's that. And then what else have we got? We have a berry crunch yogurt. So those of you that shop in Starbucks can tell me whether I've got a good good value um, bag or not, you know, so there's three items so far. And then we have a smoked, ironically, hickory smoked bacon roll. It's like it knew. So there's a, there's a bacon roll. So you, you can't ask for vegetarian or vegan. They You just get what you get. But Starbucks do do vegan stuff. So it's worth taking the gamble. Because if you're a, a mixed family like of like carnivores and vegetarians or vegans or pescatarians, with Starbucks you do get a good range. This one... It impresses me because this is a Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich. Now, if you watch this channel, you know that I absolutely love Beyond Meat burgers. So, so this is their breakfast sandwich. Put on my pink reading glasses. So, yeah, the it's a Beyond Meat sausage patty, coconut oil alternative to cheese, tofu with turmeric, tomato relish, and she's coconut oil, alternative to cream cheese in a breakfast roll. The only allergens are wheat, rye, and soya. So that's 454 calories. Now that looks pretty good. A juicy plant-based beyond breakfast sausage patty with our signature tomato relish, tofu, turmeric, egg alternative. I had that before, that was weird. But, uh, and a slice of coconut oil based cheese alternative. I think that needs, yeah, that definitely needs um, putting in the George Foreman or something like that. So, so there you go. That's today's four pounds worth of uh, swag. Um, I think that, I mean, I don't know what the prices are because I'm not a regular at, um, you know, at Starbucks. So like, but, I'm guessing that the Beyond Meat stuff is that's got to be like four pound, like you know, just on its own. So and so, if you look at it like that, then everything else was free. So and all of this will get eaten. Um, I've been saying only yesterday that I'm getting fed up with trying uh, vegan bacon and just having a mouthful of disappointment, and that if I if I am disappointed in the if I was disappointed in the vegan bacon in the last video, I was going to have some real, real bacon. And by the luck of the magic bag from Too Good To Go, I've actually got a smoked bacon roll. It was meant to be. Sorry, don't like food waste. I've got to eat it. So <laughs> I'm not going to bore you with um, me doing a mukbang video or eating any of this stuff right now. But um you know i can i can guarantee you it's all going to be excellent like you know if you could smell that cookie that's like you know so i'll we'll we'll, we'll work out work out what's what this one will be mine so and uh we'll i don't know we might fight over the beyond burger because i want to try it i might just have a little bite of that if you don't mind that's all right so you know 
and uh, yeah, I mean, I could cook them or we could just leave it at that. Because this is basically saying to you guys, download Too Good To Go. I'm not affiliated at all. I'm just trying to do my bit to help combat food waste. And you can see you can get all this yummy stuff uh, for four pounds. So, and I look forward to exploring Warren's tomorrow and seeing what we get. Might even get a pasty. <laughs> so, not another pasty. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll let you all go. Thanks for watching the video. And I'm going to get on with some eating some of this stuff. Yummy. Bye-bye.